This is the new T-Mobile G1, one of the most eagerly anticipated new phones to hit the market since the launch of the original iPhone a couple of years ago. It actually goes on sale in November, but I've been invited along for a bit of a preview to T-Mobile's offices in London. Now, the reason it's been so eagerly anticipated is that it's the first Google phone, the first phone to use Google's new Android mobile operating system. Now, the actual phone is made by the Taiwanese company HTC. And actually, the physical handset isn't anything to get that excited about. It's a fairly ordinary sort of smartphone. It's quite functional and plain in appearance. Though it has most of the usual sort of smartphone features like HSDPA, data speeds, Wi-Fi, GPS, a touchscreen, and a very easy-to-operate keyboard. But the big deal is the actual operating system itself. Now, this is the, the home screen, and it's got some very clear icons on it. You can switch it out of the way to a Google search page and sort of sweep up your less frequently used icons down here. Now, web browsing is very impressive. I can easily put the address in the top. Good history page. It opens up fairly speedily over its data connection. And once you're on a page, you can quite easily navigate around it by flicking the page from left to right and up and down, just like you would on, a, on, on an iPhone and zoom in and out using these buttons at the bottom. Or if you want to see the whole page, press this button here. And if you don't fancy using the touch screen, you can always use this trackball at the side. All in all, it's an extremely effective web browsing experience, although, like most mobile devices, it doesn't actually support Flash yet, so I can't actually see that video. But it overall is an extremely impressive uh, web experience. I like the way you can easily go and see all the windows you've got open. And because it's a Google phone, you can use it to access your Gmail and keep your contacts and calendar updated automatically, which is very good. As well as an excellent web browser, you also get an application store so that you can actually download lots of different applications and put them on the phone. It's called Google's Android Market. So you just click on that icon there and uh, a whole load of... Uh, different applications come up. I've uh, downloaded one here called the barcode scanner, for example, which means that uh, I should be able to just read the barcode off anything I see and actually search for it in a shopping thing on the web application. I've tried this book here, and it actually uses the uh, three megapixel camera, stills camera only, unfortunately, not video, and reads the barcode in, it's got it right straight away, and I can then open book search or open product search if I want to buy it immediately. The Google shopping page comes up, and there's the book, $9.99. Good. All from a barcode, which is pretty good. That's just one application. There's a few others. There's one here called a seismograph. Uh, this will be handy if you live in an earthquake zone, or if you're dropping your phone quite often, it tells you how hard you've dropped it. That was a pretty nasty drop, by the looks of it. There's also a compass application, which is sort of 3D. It gives you direction and tilt. Very handy thing to have on a phone, I think. And also will work well with Google's Street View application, early next year, so you'll be able to uh, orientate yourself around and get a, a view of where you are, I suppose. It works well with uh, other Google applications, for example, Google Maps, Google Talk, for instant messaging, when the good keyboard comes in handy. And if you're a Gmail user, you can update your contacts and calendar through the interface as well. It also has a very good music player interface with uh, reasonably loud speakers, although they're disappointing. There's no 3.5mm headphone socket. You have to go through a USB connection and an adapter, which is a, which is a pity. Business users might also be disappointed that there's no uh, support for push email through Microsoft Exchange, uh, although there is push email of a sort through Gmail. However, I do think that the phone will appeal very strongly to people who do a lot of instant messaging, and uh, they'll find the keyboard very useful, and so will appeal very strongly to people who want a, a good web browsing experience. Overall, I don't think we should get too hung up about the physical attractiveness or otherwise of the handset itself. There will be others along in the new year. I think what this does show is the huge potential of this, uh, this Google operating system. It's obviously early days for it yet, but it can only get better, and it really will provide a very valuable competition in the smartphone market to uh, Apple and Nokia.